Welcome to Ditch Auto, this is Jared, and today we're gonna to take a look at removing chromatic aberration from an image. Now, let me tell you briefly about what that is. And sometimes it's hard to notice, sometimes it's very noticeable. And I actually um, was kind of reminded of, of why I should do this podcast, from a question that was asked in the Facebook group. So if you ever have any questions about anything, head on over to our Facebook group at facebook.com slash groups slash ditch auto and ask them there. So let's zoom in really tight on this image. If you see here on the edge of his collar, and it may be hard for you to see, but you can see a green kind of, um, kind of line going around the outer side of his shirt. Now, obviously his shirt is not green it is blue and the background is even white now what happens here is that well this is what's called chromatic aberration and what it is is an effect that's happening when there is a uh, a drastic difference in contrast between the foreground and the background now this typically happens more often when you're shooting uh, at a um a wider aperture which means the iris of your lens is opened really wide to let a lot of light in and because it's letting a lot of light in um, it sometimes has a hard time kind of determining and, and nailing those edges and I, I you know this happens just because uh, of the amount of light that's coming through and the contrast being so different um, darks to lights and if you ever look in any other images and you have any chromatic aberration going on you typically can always see that it's happening between uh, something with a stark contrast difference so um, there is a, an option here in Lightroom called Remove Chromatic Aberration, but it, it almost never works that well. As you can see, I clicked that option and it did not remove it. However, if you go over under Lens Corrections and click on Color, there's an option Remove Chromatic Aberration, and it did check that. So this is the option that it checked. However, you're going to need to go in and select the actual color that is causing that issue. So you'll select this little eyedropper right here, and you'll come in nice and close to the edge and you can see that it's starting to show that fringe color um, that we can choose and I can just I typically go for somewhere in the middle like on the outer edge here we have like a really light green and as we move in we start to get a really dark green until we're in the blue color of the shirt so I tend to kinda choose a color right in the middle and then click now as you can see it has done a pretty good job of getting rid of the color you may need to kind of go and resample again just to just to see and then there also is an amount slider so I can slide this amount slider over and uh, and pull away a little bit more of that if it did not get it for me and then there's also this slider right here for the green hue because it's recognizing that chromatic aberration is usually either a purple hue or a green hue and so you can kind of slide this out a little bit just to kind of increase the range of the color but it's done a pretty good job as it is um, and then you just basically click away to get that eyedropper to go away and then that chromatic aberration is gone and you can see our photo is still looking really nice we, it didn't affect really anything else in the other part of the image it just went ahead and kind of got rid of those edges and I wouldn't even have really noticed that. Maybe if I had printed this in a larger print, um, even an 8x10, it would be really hard to kind of see uh, that chromatic aberration happening there. But nonetheless, that typically is going to happen um, when you're shooting at a wide aperture. Now, I was shooting at a, uh, I believe, a f2 when I took this photo. That's a pretty wide aperture. I could have, you know, stopped down a bit maybe gone with an f6 and that would have probably gotten rid of the chromatic aberration however I would have lost out on the depth of field that I was looking for in this photo I wanted the background which was really not too far away from them to be really kinda out of focus and I wanted them to kinda pop off the background and there's no way I would have been able to do that if I had stopped down so sometimes you have to kinda make a decision and is that you know to go creatively and use your f-stop and other camera settings to get the look that you're going for or do you change your settings to cut down on potential situations like we're ending up with here with the chromatic aberration? I tend to not even 
really be able to notice the chromatic aberration in a photo until I get it on the computer or maybe if I have time to review photos on my camera and I can zoom in and look at them it's going to be really hard for you to see chromatic aberration a lot. I typically get them on the edge of clothing that is uh, a big difference in contrast between the background and then also when I'm taking pictures and there happens to be like a tree maybe some tree branches or something like that I tend to get the purple hue uh, or the purple fringe going along the edges of tree branches and stuff that is more darker colors so that's typically how you fix that you know clicking the checkbox never completely does it when it comes to fixing issues under lens corrections go into the color uh, tab here and then choose the color picker click right on that fringe and and you know make little changes here as you need uh, you know so that you can make the adjustments if it's a green hue you got your two bottom options here. If it's a purple hue, you could have your two top options here. And sometimes you may even need to do a blending of both to get the desired effect. So that is how I remove chromatic aberration. Um, of course, you can also do this type of work in Photoshop. It's a little more involved. Um, and this is also available in Camera Raw in Photoshop. So you can always open up your image in Photoshop Camera Raw as well and make this change. So. Like I said, if you have questions or have something that you need help with, head on over to our Facebook group, facebook.com slash groups slash ditch auto, and you can ask questions like the one that was asked about chromatic aberration, and uh, we'll try and turn it into a podcast. So thanks for checking out the podcast. We'll hope to see you next time.